Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we are going to take a look at a GR25. Now the highest I've gone is 21 on a test one and then the last video I did it was a 20. So I haven't actually done a 25. Uh, we did this right after the 21 so we're just gonna jump straight into it right. So the highest achieve is actually recommending I go to 62 because this build's so disgusting. So let's go. We're gonna tone it down right. I've been trying to farm at T13, which has gone really well, because I'm basically a fresh level 70 with the set armor. And a few legendaries to bump me up. But I mean, it's nice. I'll link the build below, it's Bloodshell's Bloodshed's speed build that I've been trying to do. Um, so I'm not really geared for ripped pushing, but the build is so disgusting that you just kind of wipe everything immediately, and it works really well. So, I mean, as you can see, my Impale goes through enemies, and that was an entire elite pack that died with the push of a mouse, or not a mouse, but I'm on a console, with the push of a trigger button. I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch, so that was a waste. You don't want to do that, right? Uh, hatred is a hard resource to manage here. So you need to be sparing. Use it when it's appropriate. The best thing I found to do is either if you come up on a big pack like this, just shoot it in there. But don't worry about the garbage, just move on. Ideally, if you're in like a, a shitty map like this right here, we're just gonna kite them around a little bit. Kinda bunch them up. Ooh, speed's good. So there's a boss here. Cool. And we're just going to shoot one out there. The boss is dead. And we're just going to do that, dude. And everything basically dies in one freaking hit. Which is awesome. So these guys, see, we're going to pull them out. Line them all up. And now they're all dead. And then we just go collect our orbs, man. And we literally just keep doing that. It's a mistake to use the impale on one enemy. I did it again. So this is a good room. Looks like there's some guys in there. And if I'm fighting a pack of enemies, like in one of the hell type rifts where they shoot from a really far distance and they just nail you every time, because this build's really squishy, um, I'll actually shoot off screen, right? I'll pre-fire before I can even see what's going on. Those take a guess. Like down in this room, I don't know what's there, but I'm just going to send it. But I mean, everything just dies so quickly. It's a really fun build to play, and I'm glad that I chose it. I'm actually probably going to be able to do a GR100 this season. Hopeful. I have yet to do one yet. I always get to the 90s, and I shit the bed. I did it with the Crusader, and I did it with the Barbarian last season. And here we are. See, things just die so quickly, I forget to use any of my cooldowns. Which doesn't make this very good practice. See, look at this, guys. All of them just lined up, dude. Get out of the poop. And just wait for everything to explode. And go collect all your money. We'll pre-fire in that room. Good. Alright, where'd we mess up? Uh, looks like we need to go down there. So we went all the way up that arm. Okay. You do you, man. Oh. I have a personal uh, issue with those ladies. They've killed me a lot in my Diablo career. Career air quoted. So I don't really care if I waste energy to kill them because I don't like them. These guys have a lot of hit points. So the name of the game here is Always Keep Moving. Or you're dead. And get the heck out of rifts like that. Okay, this... Oh, conduit. Conduit's good. So here we go. Everything's gonna be dead. I'm probably not gonna have to do anything but move around a lot. Oh. We almost died there. So there's an elite pack. If we had been smarter and a better player, we would have actually lined all of those guys up. That was my follower, not a pack of things. There's another, another pylon up here. I'm still hunting for those bracers. 
Ooh, channeling's good. Let's us go a little ham. The problem with us going ham is everything dies so fast that it's not even worth staying in a map section for very long. I killed that guy because he was in the way. Alright, just keep moving. Up here. Up here. Not up there. Up this way. Yep, this way. Here we go. So what I'm looking for is a few different things. Obviously, I'm looking for a... Okay. I guess... So this is it another one-shot? It is another one-shot. <laughs> I love that, dude. Okay, strength. That sucks. Alright, what we really wanted was the Bane of the Loot Hoarder. I'm not even sure that drops here, actually. It might actually drop in the treasure room. Anyway, um, same philosophy as last time. We're just going to upgrade our Gem of Ease, get it to 25. There's none of these gems I want to invest upgrades in, really. Maybe Bane of the Powerful later, but I'm going to be running a lot of GRs anyway, so we're just going to do that. And I don't even think we got any good goodies this time. is a bummer. Wow, we didn't get one legendary from that. Well done. There it is, dude. That was under five minutes for GR25. Okay, that's good. I think it's getting a little tougher, though. So when we return in our next episode, the day after tomorrow, probably, uh, we'll show a GR30. And we're just going to keep going up by 5 and see how we do. Eventually I'm going to hit a cap with this speed build where it's not going to be viable to do that anymore. Um, in which case, I have a decision to make. One, try to make a build with Legacy of Nightmares, but the Legacy of Nightmare build I don't think is going to be better than a solid shadow build. One that's not built for speed and one that's built for GR pushing. I don't know. It feels bad to not take at least attempt to do this season with Legacy of Nightmares, but I don't know. Anyway, be good to each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.